Hey everyone, last time we came to you from the BW road trip, we were in Texas A&M, where they just happen to have the largest bin cave in the entire world. So we wanted to go a little bit deeper. We wanted to see all the usages it has, the history, and what exactly makes it all tick. This is BW Encyclopedia. BIM Cave. It's actually an acronym, standing for Building Information Modeling Computer Aided Virtual Environment. Basically, the BIM Cave is a multitude of monitors hooked up to independently controlled dedicated computers, creating a fully immersive BIM experience. The first appearance of cave technology goes all the way back to the University of Illinois at Chicago for the Seagraph Showcase in 1992. Electronic Visualization Laboratories developed what they called the Cave, a five-walled cube consisting of three walls, a floor, and a ceiling. Three stereoscopic projectors cast images onto the walls and floor, while the user wore a pair of 3D glasses that split the offset red and blue colors on the screen to simulate depth. This cave technology is actually still in use today by various visualization companies such as Blue Marble 3D. And this brings us back to the BIM cave at Texas A&M. Dr. Julian Kang is the front man for this astounding piece of technology. Built in 2011, the first version of the BIM cave only had 12 monitors, but has since been upgraded to a whopping 36, which in turn requires much more computing power. At the time, the software was limited to the ability to move the camera around in space and view it from different angles. Since then, its software has been enhanced so that you can now visualize the temporal view of the construction sequence. This means that you can now move a slider and see exactly how the building will look at any point in the construction process. But how does it all work? We could do another separate video regarding the technical aspects of how this BIM cave functions, but today we're just going to cover the essentials. So this BIM cave houses a total of 36 46 inch monitors. Each column has its own dedicated computer running a specifically designed application that utilizes Autodesk Navisworks API. The same model is loaded onto each computer and the application tells Navisworks to place the camera in a specific position. The camera's angle is determined by the angle of one column to the next. You put these columns together and you get the illusion of an immersive image on your BIM model. Pretty cool, right? That'll just about do it for this episode of BW Encyclopedia. Stay tuned for our next episode where we talk about big data. Thanks for watching.